Hi, this is Linda from North Central Texas getting back with you this evening. I forgot to show you my um, Mother of Millions. I don't know if any of you have ever had a Mo Mother of Millions plant before, but I wanted to show you how they reproduce and how they grow. Okay, this is my Mother of Millions plant. I'm not sure how I'm focusing this thing in on you, on it, but anyway. And there's another little baby down there in the bottom. I don't know if you see it down there. And the way that they reproduce is right there. You see on that leaf right there, there's a little point sticking out. If I can get this focused right. But anyway, on the end of the, the leaves where these little points are, there'll be little buds, almost like a, you, you'll almost think there's a flower coming on it. But it's just it's just a little seed pod. Those seed pods will actually fall in your pot and they'll produce the, the little babies, like that one. I guess you can see it, I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyway, I also wanted to show you my uh, basil. Also, I've got a moringa, and people tell me you can't grow moringa here in Texas, but I've got a moringa tree that survived from last year. And here's my basil. Oh, it smells so good. And it's not very big because I've already harvested uh, about a whole quart of dried basil. I dehydrated it. But here is my moringa tree. It's growing like crazy in this little pot. And what happened with it last year it just kind of, you can see it's in a little pot here. The tree part of it died down, so I figured I'd lost it completely, you know. But I left the root in the pot. And, <laughs> lo and behold, it's produced another tree. And it's almost, I guess, four feet tall right now. So, I'm going to leave it in the pot and ho hopefully transfer it to maybe a little bigger pot for next year. I had one that was five foot tall, almost six feet tall in a bigger pot, or not in a bigger pot, it was in a small pot sitting in a little, a bigger pot. And I made the mistake of trying to um, take it out and transplant it into a bigger pot. And I accidentally broke the root. And needless to say, my Moringa tree died it didn't come back up from half a root. But that one survived. And I've got more seed. I can plant more. But I wanted to wait and see what that one's going to do. But anyway. Grow you some basil. I, I bought a dehydrator. So I, I've already dried, like I said, about a quart jar full of dried basil. And it's just now recovering from me breaking it all back. So I'll be able to harvest probably another quart jar of basil off of it to dry. Because, you know, I like Italian cooking and you use a lot of basil. My uh, blackberry bush is not doing very good. This heat, it looked beautiful the beginning of the summer. But then, this heat, look at that. It was going to put out berries and it just got so hot on it, it just cooked it. And it was beautiful the beginning of summer before it got so hot. 
But my cucumber vines are just really insisting on growing, and I hope they continue. Because I did harvest some cucumbers the beginning of summer, then it got so hot, you know, I couldn't get any more. But anyway, just wanted to get on there and tell you about the Mother of Millions plant. I don't know if any of you are familiar with the Mother of Millions, but it's a beautiful plant. And usually the every leaf on the little plant is just, every little point has a seed on it. And they just drop and fall. You know, just like that one started right there. See the little tips. If I had it in a bigger pot, I would have gotten more babies, baby plants, but I just had it in a small pot. Maybe next year I'll put it in a bigger one so I can harvest more plants off of it. But you know what? You can also, when it starts growing and gets real straggly or starts to fall over, you can break these parts off and just stick them down in the dirt and it'll root and you'll get another plant. So that's just a few more little tips I can give you right now. A mosquito just bit me on the finger. I'm sorry about that. I wasn't paying attention to where I was uh, uh, aiming the camera here. But please, so I can keep my channel growing and keep it going and keep giving you tips and tricks on how to grow food in your garden cheap because like I said I live on social security unless I'm working part time and right now I'm not I haven't worked all summer and it's hot <laughs> you can see me sweating but anyway like share and please subscribe to my channel because I love gardening I love growing stuff and I love to eat out of the garden it's a lot healthier I'm allergic to pesticides so I don't use any in my garden. Uh, once, Maybe once in a while I use some salt if the ants get too bad. Because I live on an anthill up here. It's just rocks and dry dirt. That's the way it is here in this area of Texas where I'm living. And that's why I started growing stuff in pots. It's easier to keep it watered. It grows better. You can control it better. So, anyway. Like my post on my videos share my videos subscribe to my videos have a great day and stay cool if you're in texas have a great day bless you